Welcome to the Speaking History channel to know about the course of the United States Independence War. Course of the War The war between the American colonies and Britain became inevitable after the battles of Lexington and Concord, and the meeting of the Second Continental Congress. The conflict unfolded in three distinct phases. The first phase, 1775-1776. The initial phase saw Massachusetts as the primary battleground. The British aimed to showcase their power, but their efforts were met with resistance. The Battle of Bunker Hill, though a tactical win for the British, resulted in heavy losses. The colonists, under General George Washington, reorganized their forces. Despite a failed attempt to capture Canada, the colonists gained a crucial victory by seizing Boston in March 1776 forcing the British to retreat to Nova Scotia. The British then shifted their focus to New York, where General Howe's forces clashed with Washington's troops. Despite early setbacks, Washington's surprise attack at Trenton revitalized American morale, ending the first phase on a positive note for the colonists. The second phase, 1777-1778. The British strategy aimed to isolate New England and capture Philadelphia, the seat of the Continental Congress. General Burgoyne's campaign from Canada faced resistance and ultimately failed, culminating in his surrender at Saratoga in October 1777. Meanwhile, General Howe captured Philadelphia, but the American forces, despite suffering through a harsh winter at Valley Forge, emerged stronger. The victory at Saratoga was pivotal convincing France to ally with the Americans in February 1778, providing crucial military and financial support. The final phase, 1778-1781. With French assistance, the tide turned in favor of the colonists. The final phase saw intense battles in the south, where British General Cornwallis faced American forces led by General Green. Though Green suffered defeats, his strategy of attrition weakened the British. The decisive moment came in 1781 when Cornwallis was trapped at Yorktown by American and French forces. With the French Navy blocking reinforcements, Cornwallis surrendered on October 19, 1781, effectively ending the war in favor of the American colonists. The American victory was sealed with the Treaty of Paris in 1783, establishing the United States as an independent nation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop your thoughts in the comments below. Catch you in the next one.